Welcome back to my channel, it's Sparkle here, and today we're going to be unboxing these Prisma Color Premier markers that I got recently as a gift. So this is the 72 set, it has bullet nib and chisel nib markers, and as you can see on the back, here are all the colors that come in the set, as well as just a look into the different variations of alignments you can get with the nibs, and let's open it up. So these markers were actually a surprise gift that my parents got me, I think a month back, and I was honestly so surprised and so happy. Seriously, thank you so much to them. And I also recorded this unboxing clip back when I got the markers, but the drawing you'll see soon is one that I did quite recently. So here are how the markers look right out of the box. I think it's really cool how they come in their mini storage kind of setup. It's kind of like a marker tower and it was really convenient for me to put on my desk because the size was perfect. And just in general, I think it's really cool how you can just take your markers out and arrange them however you want. And you can take the different rows out and reorganize them however you want as well. So it's really customizable. And yeah, here are how the markers look. And one of my favorite things with this marker set is how there are lines on the barrel to mark where the bullet nib is and where the chisel nib is. So when you're drawing, you don't have to spend too much time trying to figure that out. Also, this marker set did come with metallic markers as well. So this is the silver metallic marker here, and then there's also like a broad one, and there's a gold one as well, and there's a gold broad one. But we'll have a closer look at them in just a bit. Now, like you might have seen before, this marker set did have the swatches of the markers on the back of the box that they came in, but I did still want to swatch them in my sketchbook and just see how different the colors would be. And in my opinion, they weren't too different, but swatching these markers was also just lots of fun so I could like try out all the colors I got. <laughs> so starting it off, I began with all the yellow and orange markers and worked my way down. But while I was swatching, I found two markers that had this problem, so I did record it with this marker. As you can see, the top part has kind of been chipped off. I'm not sure if this happened during manufacturing or packaging or something, but it was like that when I opened the marker. But it was a really small thing, so it didn't really impact the overall functioning of the marker, so it was all fine. And about the color selection, I think the colors in this set were actually chosen really well because there was a good variety of dark colors, light colors, pastel, neutrals, grays, and I loved it. But in terms of skin tones, I feel like they could have included a couple more, but this is a 72 marker set and not a skin tone set specifically, so that makes sense. Also here is the gold marker. I actually activated the rest of the Prismacolor markers, but I saved the gold one just to show you guys, and it was so satisfying. I loved it. And I feel like the camera really doesn't do it any justice because in real life, it is so shiny and so metallic and absolutely mesmerizing. Anyways, here is the swatching for them. And just because I wanted to, I decided to stick this sticky note in my sketchbook as well, just to add a bit more texture and add to that shininess. But anyways, here are how these swatches turned out, and now it's time to start drawing. I wonder how many of you guys can guess what I'm drawing? If you can guess, pause the video now and comment below, and we'll see if you got it right. Alright, I'll tell you the person I'm drawing in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Alright, so I'm drawing the Mona Lisa in my style, and it's kind of crazy to think how I'm recreating this really old amazing painting that was made with oil paints but in my sketchbook with markers and in a completely different style. I really enjoyed making this drawing and I don't know really what inspired it but I just felt like doing something a little different. But yeah, here is the final sketch done and now it's time to do the line art. And with that done, let's get on to the color. And yeah, like I was saying, it was just a random strike of inspiration and I kind of just went with it. But I feel like it was also a good thing in a way because in the end, I ended up using so many markers from the Prisma Color Premier Marker Set. So it was a pretty good way to test out a lot of the colors. <laughs> but I do want to say that this drawing is in my style. So I know that the clothes, the hair and the background are not going to be completely accurate or like an exact replica or anything. But this is just how I interpreted the painting and this is just how it looks in my style. So yeah, I just want to make that clear. Also, you might have noticed that the lighting is a little bit different today. It's just because I made this drawing at night time. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just inspired randomly. And like I said, when inspiration strikes, it's time to draw. So that's why the lighting is a little bit different than usual. Alright, so for the drawing, like always, I began by coloring the skin. 
time and since these markers are chisel nib markers i had to take a different kind of attempt with coloring because with brush nibs it's kind of different the process so what i did was i started off by doing the blush first and then i went over it with the skin tone that way i could kind of blend out the blush because previously what i used to do was i used to go in with the skin tone then add the blush but sometimes um i wouldn't be able to blend properly or it would kind of like get dry by the time i got around to blending and then it would kind of look like two dots under the character's eyes so that's why i kind of took a different attempt with that also i tried to add in a lot of different colors for shading today not just like one color for shading i tried to add in like the pinkish color and then a dark version of the skin tone and then some purple as well I don't know if it's really obvious, but I do know it was lots of fun. Also, I just gotta say, the chisel nibs for these markers are literally so good. Now, I've tried out a couple of different chisel nib alcohol-based markers in the past, but these markers are one among my favorites because of just how well the chisel nib is shaped. Like, the design is actually so cool. And just the way it's shaped makes it so easy to get these fine details, but also like really broad lines and a really good variety of lines. And it just makes blending so much easier too. Oh, and yes, talking about blending, as you can see, the eyes look really weird right now and that's just because today I was not worried about coloring inside the lines or anything I was just letting loose and trying to be bold with my strokes not my brush strokes but like marker strokes I guess <laughs> I was just trying to be really loose today and I just wanted everything to be blended out properly so I wasn't too worried about the ink kind of expanding or anything I did manage to fix it up in the end and right now it looks kind of creepy not gonna lie but this is the ugly phase and in art it's always really important to make sure you keep pushing pause that ugly face if you want to see the rainbow ahead and that reminds me i really wanted to draw a rainbow in the background but i had to resist from drawing a rainbow because i felt like it wouldn't really match the color palette or the color scheme but yeah i feel like it would look kind of cool though i don't know what do you think usually when i make a drawing i don't really think about the process behind coloring the hair i just kind of do it because it's a thing that's there and i kind of focus more on the skin and the outfit but today i genuinely loved coloring the hair it was so much fun i think i used three or four markers to color the hair which wasn't a lot and I just love blending it out and seeing the final effect and I think it turned out pretty cool as well. Another reason I loved making this drawing was because I had to use a different attempt with these markers like I was saying before because blending with brush markers is pretty different to blending with the chisel nib markers and bullet nib markers so I really enjoyed experimenting with different techniques and using different processes in terms of blending and everything and it was just heaps of fun. Also when I was doing the line art for this drawing I was kind of debating on whether I should use a black fine liner or a brown fine liner i was gonna go with black since i thought that would make the features stand out more but in the end i went with brown and halfway through i was kind of regretting my decision because i felt like a lot of the line art was getting hidden but by the time i was done i just loved how it was looking because it just made everything look so much more softer and a little bit more aesthetic and pastel as well Now I did use brown for a lot of her outfit and a lot of this drawing as well but I also wanted to incorporate green because I knew I was going to add green in the background and that's also why I kind of added a bit of green to her eyes instead of just making it brown or more of a brownish kind of hazel color and I pretty much did the same thing with her outfit as well because I went in with a couple of green markers then I went over them with a neutral color and then some brown and everything and that way everything just looks a bit more cohesive and now we're doing the background and this color that I'm using right now it is so pretty I just I'm obsessed with that color it's just so aesthetic and pretty and pastel but yeah i'm just drawing the clouds and my wrist was honestly just so loose i was just like scribbling honestly and i wasn't worried at all about how it was going to turn out i just wanted everything to look really loose and abstract and blended so again that was really therapeutic and lots of fun and another reason why i love making this drawing and yeah as you can see i'm just like adding blobs of color here and there blending it out adding more blobs on top and just scribbling on top of them on another note you might have noticed that i didn't post last week i was a little bit busy last week and i didn't have time to record anything or actually draw at all but now i'm gonna get a bit more free time and also i'm getting a break as well from school so hopefully i'll get the chance to draw more and record more videos for you guys but yeah back to the drawing at this point it's kind of starting to come together you can kind of make out that the top part is the sky and then the bottom is like the ocean and there's trees and bushes and everything i hope i hope you can make it out and then i kind of just drew like a path and then i just had to kind of add a bit of like a dirt kind of effect so i just mixed a bunch of browns together to get that effect and then i used a darker brown to create some contrast and finally i outlined everything with my white gel pen and added a couple more details here comes the satisfying part now
All right, so here is the final drawing for today. Or actually, it's not. I thought it was the final drawing, and then I remembered that I forgot to add anything with the metallic pens. So I grabbed out the golden one, and I kind of just outlined the character and added a couple of details on the hair and the eyes and some of the outfit as well. And now it just looks so shiny. Honestly, you can't see on camera that well, but in real life, it's so shiny, sparkly, and amazing. But yeah, here's the final drawing. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous day. Stay awesome as always, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!